Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole and this is Nicole Fox ASMR. Um, except I'm not doing ASMR in tonight's video. Here lately I've been doing a makeup decluttering series on my channel because while I am a predominantly ASMR channel, I also really do enjoy makeup and I know that a lot of people find declutter videos and organization videos to be quite relaxing. Um, I know that I find these types of videos to be relaxing. However, if you're not one of those people, I'm so sorry this video is not for you. Please stick around though, hit the subscribe button. I will be posting some regular uh, ASMR content very, very, very soon. I have some stuff in the works. Um, I have a green screen now, so I have plans to play around with that. Lots of good stuff coming, so definitely stay subscribed, stick around, hit the subscribe button, all that good stuff. I would super appreciate it. But if you're a makeup lover and uh, you've been watching my declutter series, uh, so uh, I stated in the last video that, with, which was my eyeshadow palette declutter, which I will link right here, link right here. Um, but yeah, I stated that my ColourPop palettes were being decluttered separately. I was going to go through those separately and that is what I did. However, I filmed... <laughs> That initial declutter back in November, like the week of Thanksgiving, some of those palettes that I decluttered, I did give to some of my family members and friends. And then I go to edit the video last week, and I realize that I have filmed an entire stack of palettes out of frame. And we just can't have that, so... I just got off work not too long ago. I'm tired. I've been out of town dealing with a family situation. However, <laughs> the show must go on. Um, so I'm going to refilm <laughs> this entire declutter video now. And those palettes that I have already given away, fortunately, I was able to salvage the footage from my previous declutter video. Um, so I'll still be able to show those palettes in this video, but it will just, it'll just look different. I'll tack it in or tack it on rather at the end of the declutter that I'm about to film. That way you can still see the palettes. I hope that that's okay. I am so sorry for my appearance. I know I look rough. My lips are so dry and my hair is just, wow. <laughs> I've got pizza dust on my sleeve so that's hot anyway subscribe i'm gonna go declutter some shit now see you there all right let's declutter some color pop palettes um, i don't really know where to start and i'm kind of at an awkward angle so i guess i'll just start here with the nine pans so this right here is the cherry crush palette it was from the cherry collection from 2021 super cute this is a really nice like monochromatic red palette but honestly um i have the cherry on top from bh cosmetics so i don't really think i need to keep this one i mean it's super cute i love the little cherries all over it but yeah i don't know i don't i don't really feel like i want to keep it so although i'm starting to have second thoughts all right i'm gonna put this in the maybe pile actually <laughs> we're off to a great start um <laughs> Anyway, so this is the Big Poppy palette. It is a um, one of the all matte palettes. Um, it's nice. I don't know why I bought it though. I really don't. I didn't need it. Um, so yeah, it's cute, but I'm gonna get rid of it. Next we have the Nude Mood. I enjoy this one very much. I mean, it's a basic like neutral palette, but um, I still really enjoy it, especially like this shade in the middle called Put On Airs and like Wink Wink is a super shock. They're, they're both like, this one's not a super shock. It's just a really nice shimmer, but like, I don't, I don't know what it is about this palette, but I always love the looks that I do with this and it's really nice quality. So I'm going to keep it. Uh, the same goes for the That's Taupe palette. I really like this one. Um, it's cool toned. I love a good cool toned palette. And I have a few in my collection, but this is like one of my faves actually. So I'm gonna keep this one. This is the All Things Equinox palette. 
um, these two right here, this Shiso Solstice and the Equinox palette, they came out right after, you know, COVID started. Um, they were, I think they were Ulta exclusives and I don't know, I just felt like I needed to buy them because the world was ending. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Um, they're pretty, like that's, um, she's got Solstice and all things Equinox. But um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of both of them because I never used them. They're nice, but like I don't, I don't need them. One that I'm not getting rid of is the Sprinkle a Little Magic palette. This one was the obviously the Tinkerbell palette. Super cute. I love these green shades. Like the quality in here is amazing too. This is like probably one of the best ColourPop palettes that came out last year. Highly recommend it. I'm definitely going to be keeping it. I really hope that I'm doing a better job of showing all of the palette this time around and still not blinding you with the mirror. Okay, seems like it's fine. All right, so I'm gonna keep that. Here is from the Mandalorian Star Wars collection. This is The Child. Uh, I'm not like a huge Star Wars fan or anything, but like this is super cute. Like I love this color story. Obviously, you can see those green shadows in there, so I'm immediately drawn to it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep it. Okay, so I have a couple here that I know I can get rid of. These are from the Frozen 2 collection. We have the Anna palette and the Elsa palette. This is what Elsa looks like. It's pretty, um, but yeah, I don't know. The Anna one was definitely my favorite from the collection. Super nice, but I don't know. I don't need these. Let's be for real. I don't need them. And I'm not like a huge, I mean, the Frozen movies are cute, but like, I, I'm not attached to it. I don't, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not in love with Frozen the way some other folks are. Um, this is the Little Ray of Sunshine palette. This one is another all matte palette. This one I am going to keep. Um, and for a couple of reasons, I think the mattes in here are really nice. But um, honestly, I love sunflowers. It's like my favorite flower ever. Um, and I just think this is so cute. It really is a little ray of sunshine and it makes me smile. So I'm going to keep it. Okay, so <laughs> I had all three of these palettes from the Dark Blooms collection. And if you watched my first eyeshadow palette declutter from like July, which I will link like here or here I can't tell now because of the the camera but anyway I'll link it um so if you watched that video I actually decluttered this palette and I kept the other two well I went back after that declutter and I really looked at this one and I decided I wanted to keep it so I um undecluttered it and then in um the footage <laughs> that I filmed previously for this declutter, I decluttered the other two from the collection, which you'll see later in the video. I'm gonna pop that footage in um, after, after all of this so you can see those palettes, but I ended up decluttering those two and deciding to keep this one, and I still wanna keep it. Um, I don't know what it is about it. Like, the packaging is beautiful, and like, I don't really do these like warm tone, like sunset -y sun risey palettes but um I like to have a couple in my collection and I don't know I'm just like drawn to this one for some reason I don't know what it is but I'm, I'm gonna keep it around okay so next we have the Make and Mauves palette this one I like really thought about keeping because it is so pretty but honestly I just don't need it like I have uh plenty of mauve palettes in my collection that I am keeping plus like I don't know like I always think about the Natasha Denona Retro palette now when I see color stories like this and I just love that palette so much that like I'm not gonna reach for something like this over that so as pretty as this is I'm gonna let it go. This is the Costa Coral palette. Um, it's nice. It really is. I don't know why I bought it though. I really don't. Like I don't, I didn't need to buy this. Okay let's be honest. I didn't need to buy any of this stuff but like I've never even touched this. I've never, I don't even think I've ever swatched it looks completely unused so I mean it's nice but I don't need it bye bye I hate the plastic packaging but like out of all of my nine pans I'm gonna be keeping most of the plastic ones like the strawberry shake palette for example I love this palette it's so 
flippin' cute. I love this color story. Can you see it? There we go. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep this one. And I'm also gonna be keeping the main squeeze. Like, I think I would prefer to keep this red monochromatic palette. Well, almost monochromatic. There's a pop of, like, gold right there. But, um, I think I would prefer to keep this over the Cherry Crush. So, this one is the wine and only. I love this one. I bought this one um, for my birthday in 2020. So definitely keeping that. This one is the Orange Glad. This one's a lot of fun and it's similar, not like super similar, but it's got a similar vibe to the Coastal Coral. Like, except there's a bit more orange in it, obviously, because it's an orange palette, but like, I don't know, like I want to keep this one for sure. That I can get rid of is the Miss Bliss. Um, I don't know why I bought any of these palettes from the tie-dye collection. They're okay, but like, I I don't know why I did that. Like, because, because for a while there, I had like that completionist mentality, but I, I never needed this. And I've never used it, and I don't think I'm going to, so I'm going to let it go. We have the Aha uh -huh Honey. Uh, this one's all yellow. I did get rid of the Urban Decay Naked Honey palette. Um, so I am going to keep this one because I actually preferred this one over the Naked Honey. It's got more of those yellow tones in it, um, opposed to like browns. So, I mean, there's some browns in here, obviously, but like there's like true pops of yellow. So I'm going to keep that. I've got the Just My Luck palette. This one is a green palette, so you know it's not going anywhere. Super cute. Love it. Very nice green shades. This one's the meant to be. Um, so this one is a minty green palette. I love this palette so much and I swear every time I use it I get hella compliments. I don't know what it is but um, yeah I love it. Here's one I can get rid of. It's also from the tie-dye collection. It's the Aura and Out. To be honest this one was my favorite out of the tie-dye collection and it's cute and it's got those really nice green shades in it but um, I'm keeping the Just My Luck and the Mint, so I don't really think that I need to keep this. Uh, next I have the Blue Moon palette. I'm definitely keeping this one. It might look different from the other Blue Moon palettes that you've seen because I dropped this and I know I didn't put them back. Like you can tell some of these shades are broken, but like I know I didn't put it back like how it was supposed to go. Um, it doesn't matter. It still works. <laughs> But I'm just saying it might look different from your Blue Moon palette or the other ones you've seen. But um, I don't have a ton of blue eyeshadows in my collection. So, and this one is like amazing quality. So definitely keeping it. Next is the It's My Pleasure. I feel like, okay, I don't, I thought I dropped this one too, but no, I don't think I did actually. So this one is an amazing purple palette. Um... It's definitely one of my favorite out of the little plasticky nine palette nine pan palettes so i've been definitely gonna keep that next we have in a trance this was the third one that was from that tie-dye collection this one's like the purpley pinky one it is very cute but once again i think i used this one time maybe and i don't i don't know i don't i don't feel particularly drawn to it so i'm gonna let it go this one is the lilac you a lot um, this one, I know that I just kept the It's My Pleasure, so I don't necessarily need to keep this one, but there's something about this palette, and I want to keep it, at least for a little bit longer. Um, I love the shade Cloud up here, and the shade Fluff. This is a really nice purple, like, I don't know, it's just a good palette. And I feel like it's a little different from the It's My Pleasure, to where I can justify keeping both. I mean, I don't really need to justify anything. Like, I can do whatever I want. It's my collection, after all. But, okay. So, this one is the Going Coconuts palette. And if you can't tell from this packaging, like, mine is just beat up. Like, it's definitely my most used 9 palette. This one, I um got lazy there for a little bit a couple years ago. And, like, I just kept this one in my makeup bag. And, um yeah. So, it got... It got hella use. This was like the only palette I was using for like a solid month. <laughs> so.
So definitely keeping that one. It's so good. Another one I'm going to keep is the Wild Child palette. This is just beautiful. Like these dark, deep, rich, chocolatey shades. Oh my goodness. They're so good. I can't recommend this palette enough. I mean, it's delicious. Another one I'm keeping is the Blow and Smoke palette. This one is just like a grayscale palette. It's got silvers, grays, blacks. It's beautiful and I love it so much. It's great quality. I use it quite a bit. I like to tie it into other, you know, looks when I need some darker shades. Um, I won't buy the Natasha Denona Mini Xenon palette because it's pretty much this except for less shades. And I think that this is so good that I just, I don't need that palette. So definitely going to keep that. So this next one is the It's a Princess thing from the Disney Designer Collection. It's really cute, but the color story is pretty boring. Sorry, there's like gold reflective. I hate that packaging for showing on camera, but uh, yeah. I mean, it's cute. You got like the little Disney princess signatures up there. Um, this is great if you're like a Disney princess fan or a Disney collector, but I'm not. Like, I like the Disney princesses, okay, but like I'm not obsessed with Disney or anything like that. So I don't feel a strong need to keep this or collect it or anything. So I'm going to get rid of it. Same goes for this Midnight Masquerade um, palette. First of all, it's oddly shaped so it's like hard to store in my ColourPop drawer because it's just so different from the others and there we go with that gold packaging again um this is cute like i love those little the disney artwork the disney princesses up there super nice i mean and this color story is a little bit more fun than the other one but like i don't know i just i don't need it um i am going to keep this disney palette though this is from the disney villains collection this is the misunderstood palette this color story is awesome like super unique, super fun, super villainy. Um, quite a fan of this. Sorry about that reflectiveness again, but yeah, I really do like this one. So I'm going to keep it. Another one, Disney princess one that I'm going to keep is the Mulan palette. Um, I really like this color story. It's nice. And the quality in here is really nice. And this shoot, this super shock up here called like a girl is absolutely beautiful. And to be quite honest with you, like, I would keep this palette for years just for this one shade alone. And I don't normally do stuff like that, but, like, I do like the rest of the palette. But this shade, like a girl, like, yeah, I would keep this palette just for that shade alone. Uh, this is the Gather Round Sisters palette. This is from the Hocus Pocus Part 1, or Hocus Pocus Round 1 collection. Um, I keep this in its outer packaging because it's a little different from the inner packaging. So got the cute Sanderson sister artwork there. And then this color story, which I really do like this color story a lot, actually. Um, yeah, I know a lot of people weren't a huge fan of it, but I like it. So I'm gonna keep this. I love Focus Pocus, so gotta keep it, you know? This is the Witch and Hour palette. I'm not as big of a fan as the artwork in this one, but whatever. The color story is really cute. Um, this one, I need to use more. I only used it like once after I got it. Um, so yeah, I definitely need to use it some more. I could maybe see me declutter in this one in the future, but I don't, I don't know. It definitely just depends on how I feel about it after I have used it a few more times. But for now, I'm going to keep it. These next three I'm going to get rid of. This is the ColourPop Golden State of Mind palette. It's super pretty. It's all shimmers. It's uh, hella discontinued. I mean, it's pretty old at this point. I think this came out in like 2017. Uh, honestly, though, I have used it recently just to see if I wanted to keep it around. Hair. Um, and it still re works really nicely. There's nothing wrong with it. Um which is pretty cool, but I don't need it, so I'm going to let it go. Same goes for this All I See Is Magic palette. Um, I really like this color story. I do think it's quite cute, but I don't remember the last time I used this. 
that's not good so um, i'm gonna let it go this one i had a hard time deciding what i was gonna do with because i love the outer packaging like those succulents are super pretty um and the color story is nice like there's no denying that it's it's quite a nice color story but i don't know i think this would be a really nice palette for springtime but do I wanna? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna put this in my maybe pile because now I'm having second thoughts. Like I knew I wanted, I thought I wanted to get rid of it, but now I just don't know. So here's another one I'm gonna get rid of. It's the sandstone palette. Um, this color story is nice, a little boring. I don't think I've ever used this. I mean, I haven't even swatched this at all. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna get rid of that. For this stack, we've got the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer palette. I'm definitely not getting rid of this one. I just got it um, during Christmas time and it's super cute. I love Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I will like keep this one for years and years to come as long as it's still good. Um, super cute. The mirror, sorry, I know it's blinding me, but the mirror is so cute. Um, yeah, this color story is, you know, it's pretty basic, pretty run-of-the-mill for ColourPop. Got your neutrals in there. But there's some nice like Christmassy colors in there too, like little pops of green and red and yeah, I don't know. I think it's cute. For I would keep it just for the fact that it's a Rudolph palette though anyway. But I do happen to like the quality and the color story, so definitely gonna keep that. Next we have the Malibu Barbie palette. This one's a lot of fun. I love this color story and it makes me feel like I don't need or that I'm not missing out on the ABH and Amreezy palette because it's kind of similar to that palette. Like the color story definitely gives me like those vibes and I had been wanting that palette for a while and I kept not getting it and now I don't feel like I need to get it because like it's very similar. Like this is very similar to that. This is super cute and good quality, so gonna keep. Plus, you know, I was a, like, I played with Barbies when I was growing up. But listen, my Barbies never dated Ken. Like, Ken was just like Barbie's friend. I like friend zoned the shit out of Ken, and my Barbies all dated uh, Ninja Turtles, so. <laughs> so, this one is the Limoncello palette. This packaging is cute. I love the little lemons and everything, and this color story is nice. And a lot of people love this palette, and I think it's good, like it's good quality for sure, but there's just something about it. I don't feel the need to keep this, like I'm not super drawn to it, I don't, I don't know. Like this shade up here, easy peasy, well, I mean, yeah, it's a nice shade, but I don't know. I don't need to keep this, I'm gonna let it go. This one is from the Powerpuff Girls collection. Super cute. I love the Powerpuff Girls. Um, the color story is really fun. I've only used this one twice, I think. Maybe once. Yeah, I think I've only used it once. I want to keep playing with this though because it is a lot of fun and I think that now that I'm going to have less palettes in my collection that I could see me, you know, playing around with this a little bit more. So definitely going to keep it. And this is the Through My Eyes palette from uh, I Love Sarah E in ColourPop. I love this palette. I always have. It's an older palette at this point. Like this probably came out in like 2017 or 2018. Um, but I, I still love it. Like I don't know what it is about it, but I, I used it recently and I just still think it's good. I really enjoy the color story. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep it. The next palette I have is the Nightmare Before Christmas. Love Nightmare Before Christmas, so I'm definitely keeping this. Um, I really do enjoy the color story. I know a lot of people were a little bit disappointed in the color story and said that they didn't see how this really reflected the movie. But um, yeah, I could see that. But I also like, I don't care. I do think it's super cute. I enjoy this color story quite a bit. Pretty unique for ColourPop, so I'm gonna keep it. This is the Zodiac palette that was in collaboration. Collaborah, huh? In collaboration with. <laughs> Why can't I talk? With Kathleen Lights. Um, first of all, this packaging is super pretty. And I love, like, 
zodiac stuff like I'm not like a huge believer like I don't put all of my eggs in the zodiac basket I think I just shook the camera I'm sorry but you know I think it's fun to read horoscopes and a birth chart and all that but anyway it's really pretty and I really do love this color story I think that she did a nice job choosing these shades to represent each uh, zodiac sign I know a lot of people probably don't agree with me with that but like I like this color story. A lot of people say that it's not cohesive. Um, I've never had an issue with getting a cool look out of this. Like, so I'm gonna keep it. I really do like it. Another one I'm keeping is the My Little Pony palette. This one is like hella discontinued, but like I love My Little Pony. It's very nostalgic for me. I always watched the ponies when I was little. I was obsessed with the ponies. This color story is also really cute. I haven't used this palette in forever and I really do need to pull it back out and use it because I remember loving it and I just, I don't know, it's so cute. Like, definitely gonna keep it. And then I'm also keeping, I have two of the Sailor Moon palettes because I am a huge Sailor Moon fan. So one of these is unopened and unused and it will remain that way. I think it's this one, yeah. So this is what this looks like. I've never used this one. This one will stay in pristine condition. It will never be used. This one is just for collector's purposes only because I am a huge Sailor Moon fan. So yeah. And then I don't feel like I need to show you the other one. If, uh, if I just showed you that one, it looks exactly the same except it's used. But it's not so used that there's like pan in it or anything. But yeah gonna keep those two I probably will end up moving this one to like a different area like of my room to put it up for collector's purposes okay up next we have the good as gold palette I think this one's so pretty I love the little gold butterflies in it or on it rather um it's that damn reflective ass packaging again it's got this pretty butterfly on the inside and I really do like this color story um I just used this one like very recently and absolutely fell back in love with it so gonna keep it I really love this super shock over here called um AU team <laughs> I think that that's what it yeah because AU is the atomic uh the atomic symbol for gold so that makes sense this is the boudoir noir palette uh it's nice but I've maybe used it one time. And then these two were like re released in the same collection. So this one is the Menage a Moi palette. This one is really pretty, but like it definitely gives me Natasha Denona retro vibes. This one came out before the retro palette, but I don't think I've ever used this. It's so pretty. But I did not need it. I did not need either of these. I wasn't going to get either of these. I had zero desire. And then I went into Ulta and saw them in person and they were on sale. And I was like, well, they're on sale. Like, obviously I have to get them. No, you don't have to do that. You can if you want to. Listen, I'm not telling you what to do with your money. Buy whatever you want. It's your money. You worked hard for it. Um, but for me personally, I did not need to buy these. Like, I don't need to buy things just because they're on sale. If it was something that I really wanted for a long time and then I bought it because it was on sale, that's different. But just buying something because it goes on sale, like, no, don't do that. <laughs> stop, Nicole, just stop it. So yeah, these are nice, but I didn't need them. I'm gonna let them go. I um, love the whatever palette though. This one is so pretty. I don't, I don't know. This one just, this one just does it for me. There's just something about this. It's like this like punk rock vibe it's got going on. Oh, it's cute. Definitely gonna keep it. This is one of my favorite 12 pans from ColourPop. It's quite old. It's the Good Sport palette. I love this color story. It is such a like pretty fall color story. Um, this palette, I feel like, I, I wish they would have kept it around longer or I wish they would have brought it back because I've said this before, but I feel like this palette would do better now than it, than it did back in its heyday. 
Um, I think people were a little bit scared of this kind of color story back then, so. But, I don't know. I think that it's a great palette. I love the quality and the color story definitely does it for me. Okay, this next one is the Bye Bye Birdie palette. Um, I love the packaging. It's so pretty. I like the little pink, like pink and purple peacock feather. Um, the color story's nice. You know, I think for this one though, I'm more drawn to this packaging than anything else. Um, and as pretty as it is, I just don't think that I need to keep this. I really don't. Same goes for the Flutter By palette. This is super cute. And I think I was hanging on to this one for so long because of this really cute packaging with the butterflies. Um, the color story is just like a basic mauve palette. I don't know. It's pretty, but I really just don't need to keep it. I just don't. I'm gonna let it go. Um, this one is the California Love palette. It's very pretty. Um, it's one of those like, like warm tone, like sunsetty palettes. <sighs> and as pretty as it is, I, I don't know. I don't need to keep it. I'm keeping the ornate palette, and I'm also like I have this the Natasha Denona sunset palette and the sunrise palette. I just, I don't know. I don't need this. Uh, this is the Wild Nothing palette. This packaging is super pretty. And I know that this color story looks pretty basic, but I love to break this one out in the springtime. And it's got some really nice sh uh, super shocks in it. And I don't know, there's just something about this. Like, I don't know, I wanna keep it. Okay, this one's like my absolute favorite 12 pan palette. It's the At For Sight palette. It was in collaboration with Raw Beauty Christy. First of all, I fucking love Christy. She is amazing. And uh, second, this packaging is fantastic. Like, so cute. Right up my alley. I love foresty things. I love mushrooms. I love the color green. I, I just, I love it all. It's amazing. And then you open it and it gets even more amazing. Like, the packaging is super cute. Um, this color story is amazing. It's just, how many times can I say amazing? But anyway, uh, yeah, it's like this perfect grungy rainbow color story and it's, it's beautiful. I think that she did such an amazing job choosing the colors. Um, it's very cohesive. You can get so many beautiful looks with it and yeah, I would not get rid of this. I really wish that they, they did bring it back briefly, they did bring it back briefly, but it sold out pretty fast, and I don't think it will be restocked, unfortunately. Um, but it would have been nice if they kept this one around for a little bit longer because it's so good. So this is the Dream Street palette that was in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. This one's super cute. Um, I know it doesn't seem like much really, but it's such a good palette, and I find myself gravitating towards for the. Uh, and I found myself gravitating toward this one quite a bit still, so I definitely want to keep it around. One that I know I can get rid of, it's the Femme Rosa She Palette in collaboration with Karuchi. This packaging is, you know, it's alright, not really my thing. I like the inside of it a little bit more. It kind of reminds me of fried green tomatoes, like, um, you know, the old lady went, well, pfft. She's edgy, come on, right? Anyway, it reminds me of her like little wall with all of her like paper flowers that she pasted up there. But anyway, we're getting off track. So the color story is pretty boring. I don't know. I'm just, I don't, have I ever used this? Maybe once. It's cute, but like, I don't need it. It's kind of meh. This is the All That palette. This was the, like, from the Valentine's Day collection 2020. It was like, you know, right before the world ended. <laughs> this one is super cute. I love the packaging and also this color story is so romantic and fun and like girly and just kind of sultry. Can go either way and this one has a lot of good memories for me because um, this was like the last trip that my husband and I went on. It was a Valentine's Day trip, you know, right before everything, you know, the shit hit the fan. Uh, we went out of town, we had a really nice like Valentine's Day dinner, we stayed in a hotel, we went to a concert the next night, and I took this palette with me and I wore it the whole time, 
So that was just a really nice time. And I also really like the color story. So definitely keep in that. This is the So Very Lovely palette, and it really is so very lovely. Like, look at how pretty this is. It gives me, like, hella bridal vibes. It's very, very pretty. Um, it's really nice quality, too. I really like this color story. It's quite fun. Um, I would say this was one of the best palettes that they came out with in 2021. The next one is the Lush Life palette. So this is the best palette they came out with in 2021, in my opinion, that wasn't like a collab palette or like a um, Disney palette or anything. Like this is so cool. Like the, the, um, the packaging is super cute, but then like this color story is amazing. And the quality in here is so nice. Like I'm in love with this. I really do think that this was like the best palette they did last year, hands down. Right here we have the Sweet Talk palette. Um, I love this palette so much. This one's like making me like definitely realize I didn't need the Costa Coral. Like so similar. Um, but I love the Sweet Talk palette. This is like my favorite little spring palette. So definitely keeping it. Let's do these like little guys. So I have these three from the Bambi collection. So we got Bambi, little neutral palette. We've got Thumper. This one's got some like greens and mauvies. Mauvies. <laughs> and then we got the flower palette and this one's purple. Um, I really haven't used these too much yet and I want to keep them because I love Bambi. I may end up decluttering some of them in the future, but I really haven't used them enough to make that decision yet. And they're really small and they don't take up a lot of room in my collection. So I am going to keep these for now. I have this little quad. I think this one is, yeah, the sparkler quad. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this packaging, like it's breaking, but the quality of the shadows in these little quads is so good, like spectacular. And I could see me traveling with this one because first of all, I wouldn't really care if it broke because um, it's cheap, but it's also like, it's just like a nice, like basic neutral palette. And then I have these two from the Hello Kitty collection. So this one is Cherry Sweet. It's pink. Really pretty pink palette. I love it. And then this one is Pineapple Cake. And so this one's yellow. I don't know. These are really good. These are really good quads. And like I could travel with these and still have like some color to play with. Or, you know, they're just fun. And they're small. They don't take up a lot of space in my collection. And I really like Hello Kitty. I think they're super cute. So I'm going to keep those. I'm also keeping my um, Animal Crossing palettes. So we have What a Hoot. Which is the Celeste and Blathers palette. It's the neutral one in the little group. This one is the Labelle of the Ball. Purple. Super cute. This one's Nook. 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 <laughs> Nook ink. It's the like minty till one. Super pretty. And then we have Five Star Island. She's got Isabel on it. This one's cute. Little girly color story. Um, I'm keeping these mainly because I'm a really big Animal Crossing fan. And I do think they're cute. And they're small. So they don't take up a lot of room. So cute. The big the big guys. So I got the Fade Into Hue palette. This one's a really nice rainbow palette. Um, I do want to play around with it a little bit more because I haven't completely formed my opinion of this. I've only used it a few times, so I'm actually going to be pulling this one out to use very soon. Stone Cold Fox I'm also keeping. It's a really nice, big, cool tone palette. Um, I don't know if I'm going to hang on to this one long term, but I haven't used it enough yet to decide like what I want to do with it. So I definitely want to keep it around a little bit longer. Um, the Bare Necessities I'm keeping. This one is like just a really good neutral palette. Like so good actually. Amazing quality. I love this palette. So I'm keep it. I'm also keeping the So Jaded palette. This one was in collaboration with Kathleen Lights. And I think that she did a killer job with this. Like, this is like a jewel-toned beauty. So pretty. Um, sad they discontinued this one. The, she just, the color story, like, she just did really, really good with this color story. I don't know. Like, I, I love it. So here's a big guy that I can get rid of. This is the It's All Good palette. 
it's cute, but I don't know. There's, it's just not, it's just not calling to me. Like, I just don't see the need to keep this, so I'm gonna let it go. So that just means that we have these Build Your Own palettes left. I've got four of these. So, I already went through these, and I'm gonna keep two of them, and I'm going to declutter two of them. So, I put together, I rearranged all of the single shades into the ones that I wanted to keep, into the two palettes that I wanted to keep. And then the, the other shades I put in the two palettes I didn't want to keep, so, so I didn't really see the need to keep four. So ones that I'm getting rid of. I'm going to get rid of this one. This one was originally called You Should See Me in a Crown. It's been completely reorganized and rearranged, though it's not even remotely the same. But um, these are going to go. I think that this is cute. I think somebody will enjoy what, like, the little little color story that I've created here. I'm sure somebody will enjoy that. Um, these are really nice. Like I love the ColourPop single shadows. They're, they're nice quality, but I just don't need this many of them. So I'm going to let that one go. And then is it this one? Yeah. Okay. And then this one is in this really cool butterfly packaging, but I have two of these butterfly uh, magnetic palettes. So I didn't need to keep both of them. So this is what I did with this one. Lots of neutrals in there, but there's some pops of like purple and mauves and some glitters and stuff. I don't know. I think it's cute. Don't need all of those though. The two I am going to keep. Um, this packaging was from the Minor in Astrology um, Build Your Own palette. Well, it wasn't a Build Your Own. It was just a single shadow palette that uh, Kathleen Lights curated. I love the packaging, that's why I mainly got it, plus I wanted some of the single shadows, but it's not the same at all, like it's completely, completely different from that curated palette. It has um, a lot of my favorite colorful single shadows, as well as some shimmers and a glitter, and yeah, I just think that's super pretty, I'm gonna keep that. And then this one is another one of the Butterfly Effect palette, magnetic palettes. Um, this one is like pretty purple. So we've got purples, mauves, pinks, a few like browns, a couple of like orangey shades or like peachy shades. Yeah, super pretty. I like this one. I like that I'm keeping two of these and getting rid of the other two. Um, never mind all of this nail glue I have all over my table. <laughs> um, Hi, uh, editing Nicole here. I just uh, wanted to transition into the next few clips which are from the previous declutter that I did um, so that I could show you those palettes that I mentioned before that I had decluttered and already given away before I realized that uh, my footage was screwed. So I'm just going to move over into that now so that you can see the palettes that I decluttered that I no longer have. So for the refilm, if that makes sense. Oh my god, I'm so, I'm so tired. <laughs> All right, here we go. Over here, I have these two palettes. I think they're the only two from ColourPop. They're like this size. Um, this is the Perception palette. It was in, corab in collaboration. It was in collaboration with Shayla. Um, it's pretty. It's kind of, it's kind of boring now though. I'd never used this. Like, I think I used it once or twice when it first came out and I haven't really touched it since. I mean, it's cute, but I don't need it. One that I know that I can get rid of is the Give It To Me Straight palette. It is super pretty. It does have the same, like, the, the Natasha Denona retro vibes though. Like, how many palettes like that do I really need in my collection? I mean, it's nice, but I'm gonna get rid of it. I have the Candy Castle palette. This was the ColourPop Land. A palette that they did in collaboration with Candyland. It is super cute and I love Candyland. I really do. Like it's, you know, it's a classic kids game. Who didn't grow up really, you know, playing Candyland? Um, most kids do. I mean, it is super cute, but it sucks. Like, I hate to be that like harsh about it, but it sucks. It sucks. It's not a good palette. 
So I'm gonna, I'm gonna declutter it. So this stack I have Blush Crush. This one's super pretty. It's kind of bridal. Um, it's a nice springtime palette, but I don't think I want to keep it. Like I don't feel attached to it. So I'm gonna let it go. I'll let it go. Okay, I have the three Dark Blooms palette. So if you watched my last declutter, <laughs> I decluttered this palette, the ornate one, and then I looked at it afterwards and I decided I wanted to keep it. So that's why it's back in my collection. But let's let's look at it again. So <laughs> I don't know what it is about it, but I think I like it now because at first I was like, no, nah, I don't really need that. Those are those warm tones and but but really it's kind of different. I like these deep reds and that mustardy yellow. I hope that I'm in in frame here. Um but that mustardy yellow is really nice. I don't know. I think that I want to keep this one actually. And it's really funny because like these two I was like, yeah, I'm definitely keeping these. This is the Baroque palette. I mean, this is a really unique color story, like truly it is. Um, but if I'm being honest with myself, I don't normally wear shades like this. I don't normally wear colors like this. Um, it's like these cool tone gray blues. I like some grays and stuff, but like these are mostly like blue. And if I'm going to wear blue, I'm going to wear like bright blue, like not these types of blue. I feel like this is just gonna make my eye look bruised. I've been too scared to even try this palette because of that. So I think I'm just gonna let it go. I don't wanna keep it. It's not used so I can like give it to somebody. Um, this is the Grandeur palette. This one was my favorite one out of the three, but this is a press glitter, right? Yeah, see, I mean, that's pretty. But I just don't really like to wear a lot of press glitters because they irritate my eyelids. But that is super pretty if you can see that. Like, if this was a super shock and it was this sparkly or like close to the sparkly, but wasn't an actual press glitter, I'd probably keep this palette. But I'm not going to keep it. I actually can't believe I'm going to get rid of this, but I am. And it's really funny because I am going to keep the ornate palette. I don't know what it is, but I like it. Yeah. So, uh, the Mar palette. I don't have the soul. And this is in the, the new packaging, not the old packaging. They used to come in a white packaging. But um, I bought this because of FOMO yet again. And I think... I didn't have a lot of blues in my collection at that time, so I wanted to give blue, um, some blue eyeshadows a try. I've always been kind of scared to do blue eyeshadow for fear of looking like I just fell out of the butthole of the 80s. Um, but like, whatever. I don't care. I play with blue now and it's nice. But I have other blues in my collection that I really like, so I don't really feel like I need to keep this one. So I'm going to let it go. This is the Ooh La La palette. I remember buying this one because it was released on Wednesday, October 3rd. And they like made it seem like it was a Mean Girls palette. And I guess, you know, like it kind of gives Mean Girl vibes. Like there's a shade in here called uh, Caddy. And it's cute. It's super cute. But um, I'm actually gonna declutter this one. I don't wanna keep it. Okay, going back to the maybe pile, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the Cherry Crush palette. It is cute, but I don't need it. Like I said, I do have the main squeeze and I do have the cherry on top from BH. Um, the Garden Variety palette, it is really pretty and I I am like tempted to keep it, but like, I don't need it. Just, just, just buy. Okay, that's it. So um, that's going to be it for this declutter. As always, I will pop some numbers onto the screen so you can see how many I started with, how many I kept, and how many I'm getting rid of. Um, yeah, I think I did a pretty decent job. ColourPop is kind of my weakness other than Natasha Denona. For a while there, it was just like a Pokemon situation where I just had to catch them all. But um, honestly... I, I just don't need to catch them all. You don't you don't have to have every color pop palette. You can you can set some of them out. So that's what I'm doing for now. And I'm only buying the ones that I absolutely 
just have to have or that are unique to my collection that really add something different to my collection. I'm done just buying things just to buy them or to be a completionist. I'm, I'm not, that's not my mentality anymore. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you did and the like button. That would really help me out and I would super appreciate it. Um, yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful, peaceful, relaxing beautiful restful night and we'll see you all again soon. Good night!